In our quest to hold on to the last vestiges of youth, no one feels the pressure more than female celebrities, especially when the foundations of their fame rest on the shifting sands of their physical beauty. Investing in a nip and tuck is one way to prolong the illusion of youth. Lying about your age is another. Depending on which biography you read, Italian sex symbol Monica Bellucci was either born on September the 30th, 1968, or on the same date four years earlier. While the star herself allegedly lays claim to the later date, childhood friends say she's four years older. Whatever the truth about her date of birth, sources agree as to the place. She was born in Umbria in Italy and began modeling at an early age to help finance her legal studies at university. In the end, the law books lost out to the catwalk and she moved to Milan in the late 80s to become one of the world's top fashion models. At the same time, she took up acting classes and made her first film appearance in a major English language film as one of Dracula's brides in Bram Stoker's Dracula. But the film that really got her noticed was 2002's Irreversible, which caused a furore in Cannes. It's a film which is arousing a lot of controversy. There are lots of people who detest this film, and people have had such a violent reaction to it, and other people love it. I think that just for this reason, we did well to make it, because it's arousing controversy. The following year, she starred as Persephone in Matrix Reloaded. After the heavy drama of Irreversible, working on a blockbuster action flick was a breeze. But the big bucks and excitement weren't the only draw cards. For me, I mean, it was a great experience to be in this movie, really. Big, not just because it's a big American movie, but just because I had the chance to work with those incredible directors, the Wachowski brothers, and this incredible cast beautiful cast. After playing Mary Magdalene in The Passion of Christ and the 500-year-old Mirror Queen in The Brothers Grimm, she was beginning to develop a reputation for jumping genres. In 2006, it was back home to Italy to play Baronessa Emilia Speziali in the offbeat movie Napoleon and I. Since then, her ability to speak Italian, French, Spanish and English has kept film fans wondering where she'll pop up next.